Hey everyone, Mikey Rich Mike. We are back at Copart here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, looking at all kinds of cars and trucks and some that you can't even get anymore. I have found a hidden gem. It needs a lot of work. It's made by Pontiac and it only lasted, I think, for a couple of years. And they had a couple of uh, LS engine options. You know what I'm talking about? Well, if you're a car guy, you know what I'm talking about. Let me show you this 2009 Pontiac G8. And here she is in all of her messed up glory. Okay, she needs a lot of work. She really does. She's missing lots of pieces, but she's got that engine. Okay, take a look at the wheels they have on her. Do we have, um, what are these tires? I don't even know what these are. Land golden tires okay we have a land golden tire there you got a dead spot oh he's alive he is alive we have a i don't even know what this is i can't even read it lion lion heart tire there with very little tread on it we're missing something very spectacular right back here land golden there and something else it looks like right here this looks very different as well okay so this car has had a very 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 tough life it's evident well someone has really 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 used her hard look at the seats look how dry this is okay it just comes apart right in your hands this leather is it's history okay it i don't know how much oil you'd have to use to get it back but you're going to have to replace lots of panels as well. And look at the lean back. Look at the lean back right there. Okay. Well, she's a mess. Even the headliner is coming off. But I don't think you're going to buy this car for this part of it. You're going to buy the car for what's under the hood, and you're going to probably put it in something else, okay? This, I think, is the LS, what do I want to say, maybe three, I think? either 355 horsepower or 415 there's a six liter and a 6.2 i think if my research is correct see you're missing scoops you're missing part of your bumper right here but here's the uh, heart of the beast right there um and i don't know i can't find any kind of a displacement there's a lot of the stickers are missing from here as well but Is this only the six? Wait a minute, is this just the V6? Ah! Is this just a... Uh, yeah, so take back everything I said. It's the Pontiac G8 with the V6. Okay, so never mind. <laughs> mind. I, I just saw the G8 and I looked it up and then I thought, well, okay. So it's got the nice engine, and then it, I don't think that it does. I really don't think so. I don't even, I don't even know. Let's take a look at the inside and see what we're working with too. Yeah, so this is, this is a mess. This is really, really, really bad. Um, and now that it only has that V6, it's 200 and what is it? 15, 250, something like that horsepower. And she's dead as a doorknob. I really don't even, I don't care about her now because she doesn't have the fancy good stuff. So I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. We're going to end this and we're going to go show you a Lexus <laughs> that is so full of crap that it's going to be fun to put back together. We'll see if the old Lexus will start because you don't want to. You really don't want to. All right. Here's the Lexus I wanted to show everyone because I've never seen a sunroof or moonroof treatment like this. Okay. This is a year 2000 and what is this? 2001 LS430. Perhaps a lot of people would argue the best Lexus ever made. I hate to say that, but these were the bomb back in the day. These were indestructible and they just last and they go and go and go and go. This one, the windshield has gone and gone and gone, but someone has just kind of taped up. This is like, it's like a cardboard looking top to here and and there's actually a cardboard right there did they just paint it that's that's hilarious okay and then you put your wrapping tape over it just to keep everything 
aligned and not even waterproof because water is going to get under that. Damage though, we've got a ding right here. Um, the wheels, wheels look good. Tires have a little bit of tread. Stratus on the back here. What's on the front? Stratus. Okay. We've got some road rash coming through here. This has been painted. That's a different color, white. Um, Stratus. So we have matching tires, which is good. The wood itself. Oh, she has, she's ready to go. Okay. Well, let's just take a seat. And, oh, <coughs> I do this every time I get in a car, but this is a, this is another smoker's car. Yeah, this is, okay, let's just see what's going to happen. Oh, I love how they come alive. See? The car's been mistreated. Who knows? 219,000 miles. And she kind of runs. She wants to run. Yeah, she'll go into gear. I love the wood. I really have to say I do. I love the wood. I wish this had the bigger navigation screen, even though it's old school. Well, come on, Lexus. Don't make me a liar. She's kind of coughing a little bit. Like she's either not running on all cylinders or maybe the fuel injectors are a little clogged. But you know what? I would drive this in a heartbeat. I'd find a real sunroof on it, though. That's the first thing I would do. I've always wanted one. Okay. Uh, same, same day. What is this? Fuel service. Transmission service. I'm looking for a timing belt service. Because these have belts and they need to be changed. What is it, every 100,000 miles? Look how dark your brake fluid is. Now she's idling better. She's doing better as she comes back. I have always wanted one of these. Always, always. Get a windshield, get your moonroof or sunroof. You get your floor mats. Oops, this is locked. Okay. Um, here we go. The leather's in good condition. Look at the door card. It just needs to be cleaned. These can be cleaned easily. Look at the back seats. Those are in great shape. And you get a lot of room. These, oh, these are such good cars. Such good cars. You get a gigantic trunk. See, look how big that is. You could hide all kinds of people in the back of this. Absolutely. And is there a spare in there? There is. Look at that. Okay. That's a good sign. Even the jack is still there. Okay. You get your old school. What is this? Tools? Here we go. Yeah. Look at this. I don't think they've been used. You still have your little batteries. That must be for your remote, maybe? These have not been opened. Look how shiny. Oh, that's great. That is really cool. Okay, we'll put that back. I like how they give you a little tray to put it in. Okay. Oh, this is... This should come home with me tonight. Absolutely. I'm loving this, like they used to say about McDonald's. Why do you not, you, you didn't unlock. You did. Why not? Okay, maybe that's an issue. Very inexpensive battery. That's okay, I buy those. But the engine's sounding better. Way better. And if I could find a seat right here, I would do that as well. But these are so comfortable. So, so, so comfortable. Power steering still works. Seat, of course, works. What do you think the windows? You think they're going to work? Of course. Of course. Yeah. 
Should we try the sunroof? No, we can't do that. But let's see if this opens. There it is. <laughs> that's the bottom. It's like a poster board or something on top. Wow, that's, that's how you fix something when you don't have any money. That's okay though. That's all right. 153 miles of range. You think the air conditioner is going to be cold? Brian Adams on the radio. Let's turn this on. 65, AC is on. And a cold air conditioner. Yep, she's cold. And you got a heated seat. Only one person gets heated seats though. This isn't even the ultimate, right? The ultimate has the fancy ones. Uh oh. What did I find? That's part of the key. Okay, so someone knew this was coming here. And they got got it ready. So they, you, I guess you get two keys in a way. Let's see what the center console looks like in the back. That's what I'd really like to find is the premium or the ultra or whatever it is where you get all these controls in the armrest right here. Uh oh, well, that's just dust from the, yeah. So you get two cup holders on the on the ultimate ultra uh, whatever it is there's wood and there's all kinds of buttons right here that you can push i like this Ugh, dirty dirty though okay so what do you think about this much better than that old pontiac absolutely mikey likes and mikey's gonna write down this number this would be such a nice car to have and finally, how about this? A 1993 Dodge Dynasty. Could there be a boxier car out there? Yeah, these things, I don't know. I, it's just not my wheelhouse. Got your hand kook tire on the front. They're just boxy. They're very inexpensive. They were cheap as crap, I think, back in the day. Um, but remember the show, Dynasty? <coughs> Absolutely, everybody did with Crystal Carrington, va va voom baby. Okay, well, someone, here we go. Let's fix this. There we go, it's kind of fixed. Okay, these are just some of the best that Chrysler offered. I don't know, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. Um, Uh-oh, she, she didn't want me to go in. Sit there, okay. Well, so we have this. North American vehicles, gold and to freeze. Yep. Okay. So remember the uh, Concord, the Chrysler Concord that proved me wrong, that started and ran great. What do you think this one's going to do? Is this going to start and run? I don't know. Here's a key. We got one key right in here. There's another one in the ignition and I think the ignition is turned. So she may be dead. She may be dead. These cars though, oh my gosh, weren't these the front wheel drive and that gave you more room on the floor. You didn't have that big transmission tunnel. All right, here we go with the hood. And there it is, 3.3 liter V6. Are we missing a belt? Nope, the belt's there. Okay, looks like a newish battery. What are the odds? You know, you think she's going to start? Well, let's try it. Let's just give her a quick little jump. All right, is there life? I hear dinging. Now that's how a ding should be. Not very... Okay, here we go. Say a little prayer. Have a tank of gas. But she just doesn't want to start. Oh, maybe she does. Nope, I guess the battery is... Well, the battery's okay, because I got a thing on it, but... I'm guessing it's a fuel issue. We have half a tank of gas, but there's just nothing coming up to the front. Yeah. Come on, oil pressure. Come on. Here we go. Now we get some pressure. 
Oh, she wanted to. Come on, oil. Yeah, she's not going to. Yeah, she's not going to. Well, we certainly tried. Let's see what's in the trunk. This doesn't want to stay closed. It does not. That's quality right there. You can just, you know, that's going to be quiet driving down the road. It has an oil change sticker, 714 to 23. 144,000 miles. It was, it's due. So you got 2,000 miles. Why do you not want to start? Let's, let's check out your trunk. Oh, <coughs> we get a battery. Look where they put the spare and your jack. That's nice. And we get, oh, these, this is like, okay. This is timing chain stuff. This is your timing chain. Well, Maybe that's why she doesn't want to start. She's out of time. It could be. That looked like a nice little setup right there. So, all right. An old battery and a new timing chain. She's not going to start. So, I'm sorry, Dynasty. I'm sorry, Crystal Carrington. There we go. The Dodge Dynasty is dead. Well, that's going to do it. Not the most interesting video, but I found a car that I am really, really, really interested in. Let me know what you think about that Lexus LS430. Always wanted one. I think that's going to be relatively cheap. Unfortunately, the Dynasty is done. And that G8 was really like a G6, I guess you could say, in a way. Nothing special there. Okay, but we'll find better cars. We'll be back. We'll have more cars, more trucks, more SUVs. And, of course, we'll get our hands dirty on cars that we own already. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching. We're back with another video very, very soon. I just, I wish I could see myself. I, I can't see myself in the camera right here. Okay, bye.